Well, folks, it was quite a night tonight in Paris with this ritual at the Notre Dame Cathedral uh, done by the Roman Catholic Church after the Notre Dame Cathedral burnt down in the last few years. And then we had this so-called rebirth ritual of the cathedral, Notre Dame meaning Our Lady, of course. Um, so this heavily focused on the Queen of Heaven, Semiramis, the false goddess of Babylon, um, and all of that type of thing, uh, dressed up in a lot of kind of Christianese. Unfortunately, this was very ritualistic, and it seemed to focus quite heavily on the Roman sun god and a lot of the symbolism about the new golden age and the new dawn um, of this counterfeit Holy Roman Empire-centred uh, propaganda, I would say, um, ritualistically representing the false sun god. So let's have a look at some of the symbolism of what we saw um, tonight in this ritual. So um, this is how this uh, ceremony ritual begins and uh, the bells ringing out. Honestly, there's some parts of this is just really strange and eerie at times and um, I think it's worth drawing attention to this. There's a lot of stuff in this about ushering in what what seems to me, at least in my opinion, seems to be about the ushering in of a new era, new age, golden age, a lot of that kind of symbolism. And of course, Rome, um, you know, the, the statue in the Book of Daniel, which many believe uh, is the Roman, the Holy Roman Empire, Rome 2.0 the revived Roman Empire, and this is a very Rome-centred ritual. So then you get these um, the bishops and priests and cardinals, special message from Pope Francis at this event that's read out at the event, and he's talking about the cultures and religions coming together as one, like this one world, one world religion message from Pope Francis. Um, which is pretty predictable, I suppose, at this stage. And it's very strange. It's like the the front of the Notre Dame Cathedral, uh, which is translated to Our Lady. Um, you know, it's all about the, the, the Mother Goddess, the Queen of Heaven, Semiramis. Um, you know, the Our Lady, and, and it's it's lit up in gold, as you'll see soon here. C'est elle qui nous rassemble. C'est elle que nous aimons. C'est elle qui nous accompagne sur notre chemin vers le Père. Source de toute vie. So he does this strange um, ritualistic thing here. And he, he has the, the, the fishmiter hat on and, um, you know, bangs on the door three times. Three times for three times as he goes up to the door here, and it begins to be lit up in, in gold. And when he hits the door three times, you know, you see these waves going out, these golden waves coming up from, from hitting it. So, of course, this is very Babylonian in terms of the Babylonian religion and the symbolism going back to Babylon and the sun god with Nimrod, uh, Semiramis, the, the false goddess and, and all of that. And then he does. He goes up again and hits the door three times, um, and you see the the waves, the golden waves coming from his banging on the door, up uh, over the top of the cathedral. And um, it's just like yeah, a lot of golden age symbolism, and some bizarre. The, I mean, this whole thing is really about the the rebirth, the rebirth of the Notre Dame Cathedral after it was burnt down, in some way. And then it's being raised up and it's about the rebirth. There's a lot of that kind of new age connotation, so to speak, in, which, in a weird way, about the, the kind of rebirth and the, the, the reawakening of the organ and the golden age, the new, new era and things like that. Counterfeit of the millennial reign and the golden age and things like that. Bizarre, you'll see soon. Um, where they do this reawakening of the organ ritual. You see here, so they, they, they focus on the, the organ, puts the um, Babylonian fishmiter hat on, um, 
the reawakening of the the reawakening of the organ here. So they chant some of these things, and it's it's basically elevating these things. Um, but this um, very bizarre, the, this organ reawakening, as they call it, the reawakening of this organ after the fire. It's very chaotic, and and the sound is very discordian and conflicting. It's a, it's kind of a theme in in this is that there's a lot of chaotic discordian conflicting things it's yeah the the moon goddess you see the the moon under the feet well it's like the the figure in the book of revelation isn't it with the stars and the moon under her feet but there's a lot of reverence of the um false goddess in this listen to this i mean i don't even know that that's not normal right that's not musical it's like this discord uh, this chaotic frantic organ it doesn't sound normal the 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 resonance that they're creating here is just not normal to me i've never heard that kind of frantic chaotic um clash so they're coming down the the checkered floor down the aisle with this chaotic sound and um and you'll see here as they come down the aisle they come to the end and outside they have this the bells tolling um across paris look at that spinning round spinning round and then this, this again this discord it's like the, the sound of the bells of Notre Dame conflicting with the sound of the organ. To me, there's lots of themes of the golden age here. The new dawn, the, the, the counterfeit return to Eden, perhaps. The, the sun god of Rome. Rome 2.0, the Holy Roman Empire, the New World, the counterfeit of the Antichrist. Look at that spinning round there. And then it's like contrasting with some singing that's not in line with it either. It's just very, very bizarre and eerie. Remember the false god of Babylon, the sun god. It just doesn't seem to me, this just does not seem to be about the real Jesus Christ. And Rome, of course, is a really central to this agenda. The one world. And the uh, revived Roman Empire, perhaps. And, um, you know, the whore of Babylon. All of these things. So, very bizarre ritual here, folks. Especially as it, it lit up in gold at the beginning. With the shepherd's staff hitting the door three times. And then three times. Um, and this you know, this uh, kind of surge going up across the gold and like the counterfeit, the golden cube perhaps in Revelation, you know, this counterfeit new world return to Eden, which is a copy of the millennial reign of Christ, but it's just the new age of Antichrist that's being promoted by these false religions. And of course, Pope Francis talking about the world coming together essentially, religions, cultures coming together as one. Strange dissonance, very haunting and eerie in my opinion.